facts about the Dream Swap characters for your knowledge, entertainment, or recollection. Dream runs an organization, Justice Reigns, that specializes in killing criminals, but also takes care of everyone he can. He is not only the one who leads the Justice Division, but also runs it like a business and is literally in charge of everything. Dream is a businessman and a famous public figure in the multiverse. Dream loves kids. Not very surprising. Dream is a bit misguided, but not that misguided. He's only misguided in the parts where he thinks he has to kill Nightmare and his lack of mercy. If JR stopped killing people and only imprisoned them instead, and helped them recuperate, they would basically be doing everything right. Annie, his first love, dying damaged him, but didn't destroy him. Dream doesn't insult people, he only roasts them with the truth. Dream does not think he is some kind of god. He has issues, but he doesn't believe that he's a god. He doesn't understand and see everything that exists, which is his perception of a god, and therefore does not believe that he is remotely one. Dream cries almost every time he hears a solo violin because it reminds him of Nightmare. If Dream swears, crap's going down. Dream is a very charismatic public speaker. It's how he gets people to listen to him. Never let Dream drive a car. Ink is a sassy little crap, even to Dream. Although Dream is his boss, so he's sometimes a little more scared of him. Even if he's being sarcastic and difficult, he'll always end up doing his job in the end. Ink almost always calls Dream boss. Ink can summon his brush, so he doesn't need to strap it to his back. As of his update design, Ink's gold strap thing that goes over his shoulder is still the holder for his vials. It has a bunch of little circular tubes into it that the individual vials are shut into. Ink started working for Dream because it was not only convenient, but because Dream makes him feel like he has a soul. Although this is limited to the effect of Dream's aura, meaning the things he can actually feel without his vials are very limited. Even though Dream doesn't like how Ink has to use his vials due to how it makes his emotions feel fabricated, Ink still has to take them, unless he consciously decides that it would be better for him not to feel anything. Ink enjoys drawing horror and dark concepts. Ink still plays the flute. If Ink were feeling Dream and Nightmare's auras at the same time, his eye would go into panic mode and he would have a mental breakdown. Ink has total separation between his feelings and his rational thinking. Even when he takes his vials, there's no connection between the two things, and as such, he spends more time listening to his logic than his feelings. Ink never really saw Cross as a good friend, just someone to use who failed to be useful. Of course, this could be changed for storytelling convenience, but eventually he never cared that much for Cross. Ink is a douchebag with no friends, so he has to expose all his inner feelings to air. Occasionally to chat with anyone else's knowledge. Well, Nightmare and Cross probably know because they told them, but Ink doesn't know this. Ink acts like he knows everything and knows what he's doing, but he's the easiest to manipulate. And now it's time for my favorite out of all of them, Dream Swap Blue. <laughs> always introduces himself with, you can call me Blue. He doesn't actually go by Blueberry. Blueberry is a nickname occasionally used by Nightmare and Cross, and sometimes others, in a jeering way. If Blue is helping you, it's probably because he has something to get out of it. Despite adapting to the appearance of one, Blue does not believe that he is a Swap Sans. Blue dislikes Nightmare because he can't figure out how his thought process works. That is the dumbest reason to hate somebody, but... Whatever floats your boat, Blue. Blue is a suave little fricker who plans virtually every decision he makes. Basically, everything Blue does has a means to an end, even if it's something as simple as getting attention or entertaining himself, or both. Blue plays the alto sax and also sings to some extent. Somehow, by a method beyond dream, Blue keeps sneaking into the JR castle for no reason other than it's fun. Blue does not enjoy violence. He might do it if he absolutely must, but it's a last resort. Torture and gore make him sick on that note. Blue was verbally and physically abused by his papyrus, but this was not the cause of his problematic personality and motives. His coat was already faulty due to his world being incomplete, and that combined with his air condition acquired from the anti-void, he became pretty freaked up. Regardless, he is very high functioning. Blue lives in an Abertail timeline and owns a house that he actually pays money for. As such, 
such, his work in doing legal favors for people is actually important seeing how he uses part of his income. Blue is actually good at cooking, but he does tend to get experimental and put random stuff in his food to see what it tastes like.